Hello, in this uh, module 5, adding a database layer, uh, this is a part of AWS Solutions Architect Associated. My name is Anand. So, we will be doing this uh, challenge lab that is uh, migrating a database to Amazon RDS. Okay, I already uh, selected this lab. Uh, this is the agenda, I mean, this is the lab which we need to do. Yeah, I already started the lab and my lab is also ready. So, let us go through the objectives of this lab. So, in this lab, we need to create an RDS database instance, okay, and then export the data from MariaDB database to MySQL using this MySQL dump, uh, connect an SQL client to an RDS database, migrate data from MariaDB database that runs on an EC2 instance to an RDS database instance. Yeah, configure a web application to use the new RDS database instance for data storage. These are all the activities which we are going to do. Okay, let us select this first one. Yeah, this first one is uh, creating an RDS instance for the cafe application challenge one. So, here we have this task one creating an RDS instance. So, now let us start with the following parameters. Please uh, go through the, uh, I mean, uh, the options carefully. So, here I select this RDS, yeah, RDS, already the DB has been, I mean, uh, subnet group has been created. So, we can use, so we are going to create this Amazon MariaDB, RDS instance, yeah, we need to select this MariaDB. The instance identifier is a cafe database please use the options as it is so here i use standard i use mariadb the version is okay templates is development test in settings is uh, cafe database so here the uh, the username is admin the password, please use only this password, do not use any other password. You must use this precise password, copy paste this one. So, what I do, master password, okay, and also this one. I also open notepad, okay, and copy this password because I am going to use in many other areas this password, okay. In instance class, select burstable class and of course, T2 micro is not av available, you can select this T3 micro, this is uh, uh, for uh, I mean third generation, okay, and instead of 200, select only 220 GB, okay, enable that is okay, that is okay, do not use a standby instance, okay, do not collect, do not connect, uh, in VPC, select your lab VPC, right and this is lab db subnet group which is already created public access is no uh, the vpc security group choose existing delete the existing one and select this db 5g this is the one db 5g this is the security group and availability select for the first one right and in additional configuration just see whether 3306 port is there that is all uh, and disable ensure that you have disabled this one enhanced monitoring right so your bill should be 14.71 anyway this is from canvas so create the database with all these options so this is your first uh, task uh, keep uh, this is so it will take some time once the database is created yeah you can see this one it is creating it will take 3 to 4 minutes of time to get the database created meanwhile Meanwhile, what we will do, we will just duplicate this one and also we will do the next task. So, the next task is task 2, analyzing the existing cafe application deployment. So, here uh, what you can do, uh, you can select the public IP. Let me go through this uh, EC2. There is a cafe instance uh, along with that, where your website and currently the database is also hosted. See this instance is running. select this public IP, you can open this what we call as control V and say maybe cafe, the cafe website 
should be opened yes so this is your cafe website running on cafe web server so maybe you can also see the menu there are various things and also the order history there are number of elements you can create an order history also so you see i'll add some element maybe one or two strawberry maybe one hot chocolate maybe one two right and say uh, submit the order you should see in the order history the ten and a half dollars history is also there okay i keep this aside and now uh, this part is over order confirmation order history uh, so navigate to systems manager systems manager you see this cafe server here okay i duplicate once again this particular one i'll go to systems manager so here in this systems manager this is a very important tool where centrally to uh, ma modify or to manage the uh, resources okay so he mentioned something here in the systems manager choose sessions manager okay where you can get a remote session of the instances maybe in node management the sessions manager is there select that you can start the session of the existing instance so i shown you the instance this is the cafe server instance select that and say start a session yeah it is done you can see this so we have to do some activities at the prompt you can run the following bash okay sudo su you will go to the super user and then you are going to ec2 hyphen user you can ask who am i to see the username and you can go to the home directory of ec2 you say yes you see this all the commands executed properly absolutely right like this you should get so this part is done challenge 1 now challenging 2 so in challenging 2 now that you have created you can move the step so in this challenge we will be doing this task number 3 working the database on ec2 instance so let me check whether this maria db is running or not on my sessions manager on the cafe instance yeah it is running hence that is the reason reason why you have seen your website on cafe so this is running you can see this it is 10.2.38 is the version perfect and in the session return to the browser with this uh, systems manager console open go to the parameter store here this is my systems manager uh, this is session manager which already i am into go to parameter store where is this parameter store it should be yeah here and in this please collect the password of the db okay where we have already uh, kept this password you see this this is my password okay just copy that the password and uh, keep it in your what we call as uh, notepad yeah just record this one now now uh, what we have to do is that just go and verify the database so here i'll say clear i run this mysql have it asks for the password provide this restart password Just say paste. You can even type it. Yeah, you can see this. You can ask for show databases. Yeah, you have cafe DB. Use cafe DB. And say show tables. Yeah, you have order and order. Uh, I mean all the things which are available order table also is available okay you have like this so show tables select asterisk from order you, this will display all the elements all the uh, transactions uh, of what you have really done okay yeah these are all the transactions the last one is ten and a half dollars and the previous all the transactions which are there absolutely the table is perfect so also you can see this select asterisk from order item so the details about the orders 
okay yeah you can see that six dollars three and a half all the transactions are listed so you can exit and then we want to take a backup of the sql using this mysql dump okay so just say exit right and uh, how to take backup using mysql dump all right it will ask for password just provide the password is restart and just paste it yeah you can see this uh, file of cafe db dump sql has been generated with uh, 7513 you can is also view this file if you want okay like this yes this is related to database okay so this uh, completes task number three let us also go through task number four working with rds so yeah we have something question and answers we need to answer these four questions so we get these questions using this details and just say show so if you say show it will show you the url okay this is again a part of your challenge lab so it is asking where is the rds instance running at an availability so do you have rds assigned a public ip address no so first submit one by one all right answer one is submitted answer two is submitted so where is the name tag applied to the subnet in which rds instance is running this is private subnet one okay so how many security groups rules are defined for this lab so you can say this is one you can say it is one and say submit yeah so all activities has been uh, completed i keep it aside now let us go back to yeah fourth questions are establish a network connection from the terminal okay for the rds instance so now here there are some tips which you are need to get started so here i think by this time this is available yes this is available go to cafe database yeah you should see this endpoint this is my endpoint so copy this in your what we call as uh, right this is my endpoint just leave it now if i say uh, we i need to connect this database to my sql endpoint okay so this is my host host name is my endpoint okay to the new host okay and provide the password as cafe it should connect yeah it's not connecting means that there is something a security group which is holding so what we need to do yeah you can see this uh, uh, in tip number 2 uh, you don't uh, you won't be able to connect you must update the inbound rules of the security uh, that is in my client okay so here you see this uh, instead of opening it in the servers you can see sg only give uh, option to security group 3306 for the ec2 instance to the database try co connecting these commands in the systems manager session terminal uh, okay uh, you can see this uh, uh, the database group of your rds you see this security group this is dbsg right so what you need to do uh, the instances which you see this in your security group this your this your cafe sg which we need to give the permission so here this your rds uh, just just select this security group this your client write in details about your inbound rules please check there are no rules what we need to do we need to edit inbound rules and add a rule just select this mysql not my mess my sql aurora and custom you can say sg and 
dbsg so this will connect this instance will connect to this particular one dbsg and say save rules okay so now let me once again connect now it is asking for password let me give the password now So just check this one. Uh, this is the one which you should see. S G hyphen. If you say this one and say save rules. Okay. Once the rules are saved, yeah, you can try once again and same up. Okay, and say MySQL password. So it's the same password. You should be able to connect. So once you are connected, you can see this particular one. Okay, you are connected. Show databases. It should show you the screen like this. There is no database. I mean, uh, uh, no cafe database. So we need to export that database. Okay. So for that, okay, we will exit now. We will use uh, what is that? Okay, new business. So importing data from. Uh, application to new database so how do i do that so my sql i provide this host and with the new endpoint say paste and say the new endpoint is my rds endpoint this is the one okay say paste it will ask for the password So, uh, sorry, I, I did a wrong thing. You can say uh, less than. You still have the syntax endpoint and say less than uh, the file name, the cafe uh, db dump dot hcl uh, dot sql. It will ask for the password. Now, please provide the password as the new password, cafe db okay so it should ex, uh, it should provide uh, you can see this uh, uh, when you say this particular one you should see the database now show databases yeah cafe db is uh, available okay use cafe underscore db yeah show tables it should also show you the order table if you want to know the details yeah you can uh, go to this particular one select asterisk from order you can also see list of orders which are there yeah everything is perfect so i quit this now we have the last part which we need to uh, that is uh, you see this uh, go to the systems manager parameter store this is my systems manager this is my parameter store so we i need to update certain important things okay especially you see this uh, uh, after you update which the database application connected to public ip slash cafe menu whether you have successfully updated we we will check that click to expand okay so here i need to uh, update uh, systems manager parameter store other than currency db name time zone and show server info values rest all things needs to be updated you see this the db url should be like first i will uh, just change this password also go to edit uh, change this password value from restart 9 to the new password which is uh, uh, cafe db all the elements should be properly configured and say save changes right and also let me check this db url just say edit and change this to the new endpoint
things I save changes and also the DB username where is this DB username ok so earlier it is root now we need to change it to admin so root is no more I will say admin and say save changes ok no need to change currency uh, the DB name the DB name is uh, same actually uh, cafe DB so no need to change DB password we have changed URL we have changed user we have changed show server info not required time zone is also not required time zone not need not be so the DB URL should be the RDS endpoint so you can stop the MariaDB service locally so here I am stopping the uh, service okay so now let me check the public ip uh, menu.php page so this is my public ip the same one uh, cafe menu.php let me see now index.php is working yeah the website is as it is let me see my uh, menu yeah it is functioning it's functioning with the new one uh, let me check this order history my orders remain absolutely absolutely fine so hence i think we have almost completed the task so everyone is happy with the results of the database migration sophia nickel has now more free time on the weekends which means that frank and martha are saving some labor costs yeah once you are done you can say submit this particular lab to record your progress yeah if you are not seeing this just try to refresh this page so finally we have migrated the database from uh, local uh, cafe server to uh, what we call uh, uh, rds server uh, using this uh, uh, i mean yeah i'm submitting let me check the score i also answered all the four questions so please do not end lab before you see the score if you want to make any changes after submit you can really do that if you end lab once and for all the resources gets terminated yeah you can see the score is uh, 25 by 25 if you want to know the details you can also go uh, to the submissions report and see if there are any activities if you made may make any mistakes or something you can check see all of them are okay and your score is also uh, full uh, thank you everyone let us meet again in a different lab okay bye yeah, leave, uh, end lab before you uh, say complete Yes, thank you and bye.